Hi, I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at uh, Magna Centers for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at uh, BTM Bangalore. How to recognize uh, benign adrenal gland tumor symptoms? Adrenal gland tumors tend to be very small, all right, especially benign ones. Malignant ones can be really large. That's how we differentiate between benign and malignant tumors. So typically a tumor which is more than five or six centimeters in size has to be considered malignant unless otherwise proven actually. So we need to excise the tumor definitely. We need to go for excision. But smaller size tumors can be left alone. And uh, very often these benign adrenal tumors are actually recognized incidentally. Okay, so when you go for a scan for some other reason, either an abdominal pain which is unrelated to the adrenal gland, you know, you may find out on ultrasound or on CT scan that there is a small tumor. So these are called incidentalomas. So typically a benign adrenal tumor is asymptomatic. That's what you need to keep in mind. Whatever symptom you may get may be not related to the adrenal gland tumor itself. So if at all, you need to look to see whether the adrenal tumor is in fact um, causing you any trouble, you need to look at few things like your blood pressure. Is your blood pressure elevated and uh, is it easy to control the blood pressure because blood pressure can be elevated even without an adrenal tumor. Most people who have high blood pressure do not have an adrenal tumor, all right. But then, uh, you know, is your blood pressure elevated and difficult to control? That's again another point. If it is difficult to control with multiple drugs, then the tumor could be responsible for your blood pressure. So we need to look at this carefully. And do you have features of Cushing syndrome? The Cushing syndrome is actually diagnosed easily by your endocrinologist by just looking at you. All right. So if there is a good index of suspicion, uh, we do a test known as a screening test. The usual screening test that we do is either a urinary cortisol, 24 hour urinary collection for cortisol or we do an overnight dexamethasone suppression test. So by these tests we come to know that uh, whether you have a cortisol excess. So if you have cortisol excess you can have all the features of Cushing syndrome like rounding of face, putting on weight in the belly, having stretch marks in your skin, thinning out of the skin, uh, weak bones, fractures, all these things can be features of adrenal tumors which are benign. Uh, but if any adrenal tumor is actually producing symptoms, they need to be removed, all right. So if the adrenal tumor is producing a symptom which is unrelated to it, then probably removing it is not going to help it. So typically this uh, link between the symptom and the adrenal tumor is actually a difficult one to make and it, it is best left to a specialist and uh, you know, uh, I think you must visit an endocrinologist if you have a benign adrenal tumor that has been discovered. Thank you.